Morning everyone. I'm Emma and hopefully I have a few of you joining me today for the live Facebook class. If uh, any of you are here, I'm just going to look on my laptop as well just to see if I can see any um, responses and just to see if this is working. Just let me know if you are with me and say hi in the comments below. That would be great when you do come on. Just make sure we're streaming and it's working. I think we are live. Shamin? Okay, great. Hi. Oh, hi, Kelly. Good. It's working. Fantastic. How are you all? Great. I can see two of you on. That's fantastic. I'm excited to be training you live today. We'll be doing this a little more often um, in the Corfit Club. Um, as we um, get started, you can just make sure you pop, pop a comment in the section below so I know who's here um, and I know everyone can hear me. Fantastic. Mira, hi. Good to see you. And we'll be doing a beginner, kind of beginner to uh, strong beginner class but it's going to be good for everyone it's going to be really focused on a lot of technique which I think we all need so it's good even if you are more advanced in your Pilates uh, routine to do more technique it just makes you get more out of all the exercises so uh, hopefully when you do some of these specific things I teach you today you'll get a lot more benefit from the exercises so as you know, I've got a bit of a move more in March challenge happening and uh, it's just a bit of a movement that I've started and I do it every year. Um, last year I posted every day when I moved myself and this year I thought as some inspiration I would do a couple of live videos, see how they go. Um, so yeah, be grateful if you want to um, share the move more in March challenge um, offer with anyone. If you do have any friends, I've got a $1 a month offer going, so be sure to pass it around. The more people can move, um, more often the better. Uh, I see Jess. Hi Jess, thank you for coming on. Just pop a note um, a little high in the bottom so I know everyone's here. And don't worry about any props today. You don't, know, don't need anything other than your mat and some water. Um, and just always remember, take it at your own pace. So everyone is different. Everyone's starting from a different um, level of fitness. Everyone has a different body. And honor your own body and your own level is um, always my message. Um, there's no need to rush progression. Um, I'll give a few different options because there'll be some different levels in the class. But I'll also focus on a lot of technique today and tips. Alrighty, now I won't be able to see your comments as I'm teaching, so I'll be around at the end for a Q and A. If you have any, uh, if you have time to have any questions, um, I'll be here. We can chat a bit more. Thanks, everyone. So let's get started. So make sure you can see me when I come back onto the mat. I might just turn that level down a little bit without dropping you all. My phone, okay, so if my phone falls, I'll save you, save it. <laughs> all right, everyone, let's start. So sit to the front of the mat, sit up nice and tall. And in this position, you'll feel you've got two bottom bones, okay? They're the bony bits that we're sitting on. If we're too rolled back and not sitting up tall enough, we won't feel those bones kind of pressing into the mat. So I want you to really get up tall as much as you can, even if you have to walk your feet away a bit and sit up on those bones as best you can. This gives us a good neutral to start with. So let's start with a couple of breathing exercises. Start with relaxing your back. So inhale through your nose and exhale through the mouth. Kind of like you're blowing out a candle, just gently. Inhale into the ribs and exhale, blowing out that candle. Now, as we exhale through pursed lips, we feel maybe a little bit more of a tightening of the belly. Now, we don't have to breathe out through pursed lips, but it helps us activate the deep core muscles. So if you're not finding your deep core muscles easily, blowing out like this will help. 
make sure you're not lifting your shoulders as you breathe in, just relax them down your back. So we don't need the shoulders for a lot of exercises and we all tend to grip up around the ears a lot with the shoulders. So I want your focus to be relaxed shoulders. Now I'm gonna bring my feet back in a little. We're gonna to start to move now. So we're gonna reach the arms up if it feels okay or just have them tucked behind your legs. Take a breath in. When you exhale, I want you to roll off your sit bones, round your spine, scoop your belly. So draw the tummy in a little. As you roll back, take your breath into the ribs here. Exhale as you dive forward. Then inhale when you sit up nice and tall. Again, breathe in. Exhale, round your spine, scoop your belly. So draw your pubic bone up towards your nose. That will get you that scooped feeling of your belly. Breathing in here, into the ribs. And as you exhale, round your spine forward. When you inhale, sit up tall. We have two more of those. If this is not good for your spine, just do a tiny roll and lift up. When you're ready, exhale, roll back, scoop the belly. Take a breath in here. And exhale without lifting those shoulders, round forward. Inhale, sit up. Your arms can be reaching. Inhale again, sorry. Exhale, roll back. Breathing in. Deep in the abs as you exhale, roll forward. And then inhale, lift up. So we'll go all the way to the floor now. Breathe in. As you exhale, scoop those tummy muscles and roll all the way down onto the mat, just so that your arms are by your side and your legs stay bent. You could be bringing them closer to you if it feels more comfortable. Your goal is to make sure your knees are in line with your hips, not dropping out or not falling in, like train tracks. And from here, just bring your arms up in line with your shoulders. I want you to relax your shoulders into the mat. Now I want you to round your shoulders and release the back, so you're stretching the back, and then draw your shoulders towards each other, squeezing them towards each other a little. Inhale as you stretch the back and round your shoulders. Feel like you're reaching to the ceiling. And then exhale, you're lowering your shoulders, squeezing more in towards the spine. So imagine you're holding a box as you reach up. That box doesn't get bigger as you squeeze those shoulder blades. Keep it the same distance. One more time, reach those arms. And releasing back. Now just relax your shoulders into the mat. You don't have to round or squeeze. Take your arms slowly back behind you, but without letting your ribs pop. So the tendency in here is, when the arms go back, we arch the spine. And we don't wanna let the front tummy area ideally let go completely. When we're doing our Pilates, we wanna have some awareness of our core. So doing this, letting the ribs pop up, is really letting go of that connection. And so the, you'll know this by feeling the back of the ribs lift off or feeling really no abdominal connection. So this time, when you take your arms only halfway back, not all the way back, I want you to see, you can even put one hand under your, your ribs, when you take your arm back, does the pressure come off your fingers? Keep the pressure on the fingers as the arm goes back only about halfway. Don't have to go all the way. We don't all have that bigger range of movement. So just do a couple more of those. Take it back without letting the ribs we call pop up. So think of relaxing your ribs down. And back up one more time. Inhale and exhale. Now from here, bring your arms back down and put your fingers and hands on your pelvis. So your fingertips are going to place on your pubic bone, heels of the hands on the hip bones. From here, I want you to press your lower back into the mat. Notice that your pubic bone, fingertips point up, and then when you arch your back, the opposite happens. Pubic bone goes down, hips come up. A couple more of those, flatten and arch. So notice your back completely flattens, then it arches. And then stop about halfway between. Keeping that if you can. Now bring your fingers onto your hip bone. Slide your fingers into your midline of the tummy there. About four fingers below your belly button. So it's in line with those front hips. Now we're gonna inhale first. And let you feel your belly just maybe expand. So if you're breathing deep into your belly, I want you to notice what happens. It lifts and it lowers. 
So if you breathe and focus on the belly breathing, it rises and falls. So when you inhale, it naturally lifts a little. When you're bringing the breath deep into your body, and when you exhale, the belly naturally drops a little. Focus on the breathing into the belly here. Feel what happens when you think about almost inflating your belly as you inhale and dropping it as you exhale. Here's our breathing pattern as we do our session. So as you inhale, relax your belly. Exhale, think about now drawing in the belly a little bit more. So you're kind of drawing it towards the floor. You're zipping up the lower abs, the lower belly from below the fingers. And then float your right leg up to tabletop. Take your breath in, and as you exhale, lower your leg down. Breathe in again. When you exhale, sink your belly deep in your tummy. Lift the second leg. Breathe in. And exhale when you lower down. So ideally, you're feeling like those lower tummy muscles are nice and firm as you lift your leg up and down. You're not letting your belly lift and lower too much. Keep that connection. Even when you breathe in is the challenge. Okay. Keep the leg up this time. Now try not to move your pelvis. If you're new, you may need to flatten your back because your lower tummy may not be as strong enough yet to keep in neutral. So remember, there's flat back, overarch, or there's neutral. Choose your option. Ideally, your belly doesn't pop out. So we bring the second leg up. If your belly popped out, you need to bring your knees a little closer to your chest to make sure your belly doesn't bulge and your back doesn't arch. Remember we talked about the ribs letting go. We don't want that to happen either here. So now tap one toe, lift it up. Inhale, tap, exhale, up. So the connection here is so important. As we inhale down, exhale up. This may be fine for you to build up strength here. If you want to go a little bit more challenging option, take the knees halfway down and exhale, lift up. But that's quite strong, so don't do this one. If you cannot hold the belly in, keep it in. Exhale up. Make sure you're not feeling any back tension. There should be no tummy, sorry, all tummy, no back tension, all tummy connection. Now, notice when you're doing these, are you bending your knees or are you arc, arcing the leg away? So we keep this at a right angle. It's not just bending the knee to tap down. That's not really going to work your tummy. Feel the difference when you tap and you arc from the hip, but you keep your right angle at your knee. That's what you're after. So just check that. Now from here, bring your hands behind your head and lower your feet down slowly. I like to interlace my fingers, thumbs down the back of the neck, kind of like a cradle for the neck. So we're going to look at the knees to begin. And make sure now, as you come up with your chest, you're not lifting your head first. So you're sliding your ribs, then your chest comes up. Breathe in, stay, and breathe out, come down. So we're dropping the chin first. We're not even lifting the head off the mat. The head doesn't actually come up until we've started to engage our front tummy. So if you haven't slid your ribs down and felt your tummy start to work before your head comes up, you're not really coming up from the right place. So all neck tension is created if we're using our neck too much and not our core. So let's try that. Inhale, look to the knees. Exhale, connect the tummy and then lift up. Breathe in and exhale, go down. Inhale when you look at the knees. Exhale when you come up. Stay there on the inhale and exhale, go down. Now make sure your shoulders aren't creeping up again. Keep them away from the ears. Breathe in. Are you lifting your head first? Slide your ribs and then come up as you exhale. Breathe in. And inhale, go down. Exhale, sorry, go down. So make sure you're feeling like you're lifting your chest and shoulders up. You're not actually focusing on lifting the head up. Focus on lifting the shoulders and the chest. So imagine my hand is under your shoulders and it's helping to um, guide you. You're lifting my off my hand as you come up. 
Let's do two, a few more, but just go up, exhaling, inhale, down, down. Now that you've got that good motion, exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. Now the other thing to check, when you come up, is your lower belly popping out? I want you to think of that flattening like we talked about earlier. Exhale, inhale. Then you really start to feel all of your core muscles. Make sure your knees aren't dropping out. Keep hold of an imaginary ball between your knees. And the last tip, make sure you're not jamming your back into the mat. Keep your tailbone anchored. Last one. When we come down, stay down. If you feel okay, connect your belly, float the legs to tabletop, squeeze your knees together. This is level two, so keep your feet down at any point. Breathe in, look to the knees. Exhale, curl the chest up, inhale, go down. Exhale to lift, inhale to lower. Two more here. And one. Take it down. Feet can go down now. We're going into a twist. Look at the knees on the inhale, then bring your right armpit up towards the left knee. Now, what I'm not doing is swinging my elbow. Keep your elbow wide, how it started. Bring your armpit to the opposite knee. So I'm not swinging all the way around to the side, I'm just heading to the knee. I'm not doing this. And then go down, other side. Look at the knees, inhale, exhale, your opposite elbow to knee and down. Exhale, lift, twist. So check your body. Are you swinging around? Are you rotating? I want you to stabilize. So keep your hips steady. Just lift your armpit to the opposite knee, but keep that elbow wide. Is it swinging? Can you see it in front of your face? Take it away and down. Two more. Twist and down. One more. Twist. Now you can stay with feet down on the next level, connecting the tummy. Legs come up. Breathe in, look at the knees. Exhale, same move. Twist and down. So focus, keep that elbow wide. It's not swinging. Armpit to hit to knee. Exhale. Two more. Keep the legs steady. Now we're adding on, optional, extending one leg. You can keep doing either of those two options we just did, otherwise bring the chest up. Right leg extends, keep the chest up now. Twist to your left knee. Change, but don't go down. Twist, center. Remember armpit, not elbow. Stay up, two more only. One, and hug your knees, <laughs> very nice. And just circle your knees out and in. Circle and in. So hopefully that helps, that little bit of techniques. It's really important when you're doing your abdominals, do them correctly, otherwise you'll strain your neck. You can also um, get a lot more benefit when you do it correctly. Bring your arms by your side. One of my favorite moves now, hip rolls and hip bottom lifts. So we're starting again, holding that imaginary ball, breathing in. When you exhale, flatten your back, use your core to press your back into the mat. Not so much your bottom, flatten with your tummy. Then start to lift your lower back really slow today. One bone at a time. Lift the next vertebra, the next vertebra. Slowly peel your spine one bone at a time off the mat. When you get to the top, I don't want you letting your core go. Don't you letting your back go. So find that rib to hip connection like we spoke about at the beginning. Remember we don't want to be always flaring the ribs. Then we're letting go. I want you to feel your pubic bone pulling to your nose a little to keep that lower tummy active. If you're feeling it in your lower back, you've gone too high, drop down a little, connect more with your core. So if you are arching, you need to drop your ribs. I want you to be able to see a nice straight line between ribs and pubic bone here. And as you go down, drop through your chest first, your sternum. 
your upper back, your middle back, then your lower back, last, back to neutral. Inhale here, slow again today. Exhale, scoop your belly, flatten the lower back without using your bottom too much yet. Use your, your core and then start to lift your lower back up. Just one bone at a time. Feel your spine peel off the mat. And when you come up, stay lifted, but not so high you're letting go. So keep the connection of your, your core. And if you feel tension in your back, pull the pubic bone to your nose more, drop a little lower. Now I want you to hold it here and just feel the energy reaching through your knees. So you're lengthening your spine, and I want you to feel an open chest. Breathe in. As you exhale, drop your chest, drop your sternum, drop your ribs, and drop your lower back. Release your tailbone, breathe in. Exhale, use your core, scoop and roll. Peel your spine, feel every bone touch and then come off the mat. Inhale, lengthen the knees over the toes a little. And as you exhale, roll down, keeping your chest open. One bone at a time. And this time we'll mix it up, breathe in. Exhale, scoop the abs, roll back up. And stay lifted. Now, this time it's not a roll, it's a, just a hinge at the hips. So drop your bottom, press up. So your bottom doesn't touch the floor, it just hovers. And the key here is, what I see is a lot of people do this, arch, release, arch, release. That's sort of a different exercise. What I want you to do is keep this in one block. Drop the ribs with the hips. So the tendency is for a lot of people to do this. Let go of the core again. Arch through the back as they do this exercise. You'll feel it more in your back and as well you're not connecting to your center. So let's do a lower and a lift. Lower and a lift, but we're staying connected. This is one block, down and up. Now I want you to think of pushing through your heels. Inhale, exhale. That will activate those glutes, one of my favorite parts of the body to work. We all need good strong glutes. Let's do another four more. They help support our lower back. Three, press, two, and one. Lift the hips, breathe in, and now peel your spine back down onto the mat, breathe out. Hug your knees into your chest, take a little stretch of your back. We have that option again, or single leg. So if you prefer staying with both feet on the floor, you take that option. Otherwise, let's start again, breathe in. We're gonna exhale, scoop and roll again. Roll your hips back up. Your hips are level now, have a look. Check your own hips. Ideally, one doesn't drop lower than the other. So keep that, breathe in, exhale, support with your tummy. So connect your core, lift your right leg up. Same as we did before, we lower and lift. Lower and lift. Good. Four more. Four, let's get stronger with one leg. Remember, you can put the foot down if you need to. Three. Hang in there, two, and one. Inhale, put the foot down. When you're ready, keep those hips up and level. Exhale, lift the other leg. Remember, if you're feeling it in your back, don't go up so high or both feet down. Let's do eight, press, seven, press, six, five. I know it's working, keep going. Four, especially when it's slow, it's tougher, right? Three, and two. One, hold, breathe in, put your foot down, and exhale, peel your spine all the way down, hugging those knees in, well done. So from here we're going to roll up, grab behind your legs, come up. Now during that uh, section, my uh, band of my hair broke, so I'm gonna just tie my band up. And for you while I'm doing that, tie my hair up, I need you to come onto your hands and knees. So bring your hands under shoulders, knees under hips. The joys of a live class. <laughs> so we're in four point kneeling position. So hands under shoulders, knees under hips. And in 
this position, I want you to notice is your back uh, rounded or arched. Now, if you don't have a mirror at home, you're not going to know as well. But I just want you to feel, just feel a tip and a tuck and relax about halfway through. Okay, that's about your, your neutral. Now the tendency for a lot of people is to flatten here. And I do want you to lengthen out so that you feel some work happening in your lower back without pain, of course. So this is our starting point. From here, we're cat stretching, breathe in. As you exhale, round your spine, look at your belly. And then as you inhale, arch the spine, chest up. Exhale, round your spine. Inhale, arch the spine. Two more. Exhale, round. Really feel your back stretch. Inhale, arch. One more. Exhale, round. And inhale, arch. Now, back to your neutral. And I just want you to make sure you're not collapsing your chest. So lift your body up away from the floor. So ideally we're not dropping and the head is not dropping. We're lifted. And this is working on the muscles under the shoulders nicely. You get sore wrists, you can put a bit of weight on the outside of the hands, kind of karate chop position. Or you can expand the fingers, spread the fingers and put weight more on equally on the outside and inside knuckles, outside, inside of the, the heel of the hand the wrist. Now keeping your belly switched on, so not dropping your abs, gently lifting through the lower tummy, okay, not the upper abs. Now make sure as well you, you've got space on your mat to be able to extend the leg, okay. I want you to stay with your feet on the mat if you can. When you're ready, breathe in and exhale, extend your right leg without dropping the hip. Now that's hard for you to see, but feel, start to feel your body in space. And then I want you to extend the left arm, but I don't want you to reach so far that your shoulder's popping out. And I don't want you to drop your shoulder or bring it to your ear. Only 50 million things to think about, right? Um, just imagine you have long earrings and you don't want the earrings to touch your shoulder. So it's not this. Bring it back in again. As you inhale, prepare. Exhale, extend the left leg without wobbling. Now just notice, I'm not lifting my leg. I'm teaching you the secret of how to not wobble on this exercise. So extend the leg and hold without even lifting, all right? Then you're not shifting your weight. Press, and then extend the right arm without dropping. So you've got to imagine you've got your favorite beverage, whether that be coffee, champagne, pina colada on your bottom, on your shoulders, or fruit juice, be healthier. And I don't want you to drop it and bring it in. I'm just catering for all flavors and tastes. When you're ready, extend out, hold. And now I want you to start to lift the arm and leg up. No wobbling allowed. Balance your drinks and bring it in. Now, if you do this exercise in the way I'm showing you now, you will start to feel your core muscles, hopefully. Your deep core. So if you're not wobbling, you have no choice but to activate those deep core muscles. If you're not lifting, if you're not shifting, if you're not dropping, you will really feel it. Now, you'll, you'll be working the core anyway, even if you're wobbling. Don't worry, but it's extra work if you're really stable. I'm being fussy today. <laughs> this is a bit of a technique class, but this is really good for everyone. Extend. Now, I want you to notice, I've got a floppy top on today. When you do this, you're not arching the back. Okay, so this particular one, I'm getting you to extend, lift, but not arch, not let the belly go. So keep the belly connected. When you reach, lift, you don't let go. So you don't have to go so high, it's not super high. Now, for those of you who want a challenge, keep going with that if you're happy with that. Extend the legs into full plank. Let's do straight arm and leg. 
exhale. Exhale. I said I challenge every level today. Exhale. Keep going. Four. Whatever option you're doing. Three. Pull those abs in. Two. As you reach. One. Lower. Lower the knees. Take a child's pose. Well done. Make sure you're trying to sit on your feet so you stretch your back. And when you're already coming onto your tummy, let's do a little bit of back opening. I want you just to have your arms by your side and your head relaxed down. So in this position, options are legs hip distance or if you're okay in the lower back, legs together. Now legs together can feel a lot more challenging on the lower back. Legs apart is fine. From here, I want you to make sure you're pressing your hips a little into the mat so that you're not overarching your lower back. It, the tendency is to feel too much work in the lower back sometimes if we're not so flexible in the upper back. So if you think of pressing your pubic bone and hips slightly into the mat, you'll feel your lower back lengthen out. You'll take a bit of pressure out of it. Now, draw your lower belly up a little from the floor, and then we're going to lift the back, hold it there, so your chest is open, and then take it down again. So it's not a very high lift. Inhale to lift, arms come up as well, exhale to lower. Inhale when you lift, and exhale when you lower. You can start to turn your head the other way, just to even it up. Just starting to warm up the lower back. And now this time, hold your lift so your nose is not very far off the mat. Now, if you are bigger breasted or you feel your back is uh, a bit rounded and you can't stay low, um, you may need a cushion under your hips just so that you can lift a little and still be low, okay? Um, listen to your body if you need to modify. Now, keep that low hover. Relax the shoulders. Now, pump the arms. I want you to take a long breath in and a long breath out. In, out. Keep going, in and out. One more breath, in, pump those arms, out. And relax your body down, well done. Let's do that one more time, connect the tummy. Press the hips. Now this time feel your legs reach out of your body. As you come up, lengthen your spine. Feel your head is reaching away. Pump the arms. In. Out. In strong arms. Make them count. Out. In. And out. Last breath. Hopefully you're feeling your triceps. And... Uh, release down very nice and just if you feel okay interlace your hands behind your back and have a stretch now if you can't reach there and you can't touch your your hands even um, just come up for a little stretch and open your chest just want you to feel an opening you can keep your ribs down or you can feel a lift in an opening hands under shoulders as you just lift your spine so we're chest opening here and release. From there, hands still under your shoulders, press back and take another shoulder stretch. Stretch your back. Take a few breaths, relax your shoulders. And then let's lie on your side. So come down now, relaxing on your side, well not relax for too long. It is under, oh sorry, on top of your arm, palm is down. So try and line your whole body up here and then I want you to bend your bottom leg. So you've got a bit of support here if you need it. <clears throat> now from here, feel your waist lengthening by reaching your top leg away. So the key for this exercise is to make sure that reach is happening to get the feeling of the waist lengthening. So what I don't want is your waist collapsing. <clears throat> Excuse me reach it away. So now in this position you can have your head down. The next level is head up with your hand under your neck. So if you're up 
What I want you to feel is a lengthening away of your torso. Lengthen, lengthen. So you're not just collapsed. You're lifting. Okay? This top leg is going to come forward. Flex, flex, point. Flex, flex, point. So as you go forward, we take it forward even further on the second pump. Flex, flex, point, but take your leg behind your body. Now notice that you're shortening, okay, or collapsing. We flex, flex, point. The other thing is, when you take your leg forward, try not to round your back. Try and stay neutral. As you take your leg back, try not to arch, keep your core connected. So we're keeping from the waist up. Really still is the plan, <laughs> okay? That's hard to achieve, but that's the plan. Hand can be in front for support. If you want the next level again, both hands behind. Okay, just build up to this. This is a little bit more challenging, and it's different on both sides as well. Let's do four more. Four, press, three, keep lengthening, press, two, press, one. We've done about 15 and release. Very nice. Now, let's come up onto the supporting arm. Have it underneath your elbow. Now, this is important. You don't collapse. Remember those earrings. We want the ear away from the shoulder. So don't let those earrings touch your shoulder. Legs can be bent level one. Legs can be straight and split level two. Legs can be stacked one on top of the other level three. So I'll do two on each level. You can build up if you want to try. Breathe in, lift your body. Breathe out, lift. Inhale down. Exhale, lift. Now this may be enough for you. Stay there if it is. Extend the legs. Now if you get sore in the shoulders, you need to lift up more. Make sure also your elbows directly under your shoulder. So look down. Check it is. Take a break at any time. Listen to your body. Exhale, lift. Inhale, down. And lift. And down. Let's have stacked feet now, one on top of the other. But when you do this, flex your feet back. If you're doing this, your foot is on its side. Exhale, up. Inhale, down. One more. Lift. And down. Very nice. Bend those legs. And let's do a big stretch over to the side. Now, if you are not comfortable sitting in this side position, you can always use a prop. Like, I've got another mat here, just to show you. You can lift up your body, and then that's gonna be a lot easier to stretch. Okay, so just use props when you need them at any point. When you're ready, spin around, and let's come down onto the other side. Extend the whole body out, extend the legs, and have a straight body. Now, bend your bottom leg for a little bit of support. If you want, stay down here. If not, lift up, but lift underneath your waist. So really get that feeling of staying upright. Hand underneath the, the bones here, the occipitals we call them. Now we take the leg forward, we take it back. We take it forward, and back. Now I'm just going to check my, okay, don't worry, I think we're still good, sorry. I had a little notification pop up, I think we're okay. And back, sorry, I just wanted to check I was still live with you. Back, forward, back. Now remember, reach that leg, get that length so that your body is completely straight. So we're forward, and then behind. So the first kick is to wherever you can, the second kick is further, and behind. Remember, lengthen, that's the challenge. The challenge is also not to round here, and arch here. This is fantastic for the side hip, and the glutes. Keep going, let's do four more. Press, hang in there, three, Hopefully I've still got some of you with me. <laughs> Two, reach. One, I'm gonna have to do a couple more, I think, because I lost my count when I checked the phone. Press, reach, 
press, let's give you one more. Reach, press, release. Give your bottom a little massage. All right. Now, from here, we're gonna extend, well, bend the legs, just bring them back. Come up onto your elbow. Keep it under your shoulder directly. Option one, legs bent. Remember when you're doing option two, your feet are on the side. So it's like you've got um, razor edge edges. Pull the toes back. So we're lifting your body, not collapsing. Inhale, exhale up, inhale down. Exhale up, inhale down. Level two, optional only. But remember, keep lifting your body. Don't collapse or you'll feel it in the shoulder. Use your muscles under your armpit. Lift and down. Lift and down. Let's stack the feet. Exhale, lift and down. Lift and down. Very nice. Bend those legs and take a big stretch so you can use a pillow or a mat under your bottom just to give you a little prop up if you can't stay in this position. And when you're ready, release. Good job. We're nearly done. Now remember also, if you need to, if you can't sit up comfortably um, cross-legged, you can sit on a mat or a pillow. You don't have to sit directly on the floor. Just always listen to your body. So now when you're ready, we're gonna sit up tall, one hand on the opposite knee, lift your spine and gently twist to the back. Relax those shoulders. Breathe in, other side, exhale, twist. Relax the shoulders. Two more, breathe in, exhale, twist. Last one, and exhale, twist. Come back to center and just swap your legs the way you wouldn't normally have them crossed, just to even up a little. Take your arms forward and press the fingers, stretch those arms and the wrists. We can get tight through the wrists a lot and the hands when using our iPhone so much these days, We're working on the computer. Lift up and stretch, try and straighten your arms and touch your ears with your arms. And release, give your shoulders a nice big roll backwards. We're gonna always finish with a nice opening of the chest. And Squeeze your shoulders up, drop them down, release any tension, lift and drop. Two more. Release. One more. And release. Very nice work. Hopefully you felt okay during that session. I'm just going to come over and have a little chat to you now. Nice work, everyone. Let's see who's still with me. Oh, that's good. <laughs> everyone. I think that uh, that worked okay. I had a little message pop up during, but um, oh, Zarina's here too, it looks like. Let me know who's still here and um, if you're still still okay after the session. <laughs> Sweating, shame and thank you. <laughs> yeah, I kind of stepped it up. I said I'd do a beginner, but it always ends up a little tougher, right? <laughs> Um, I'm just going to see if I can bring up my laptop and talk to you from there a little easier. So, how are you feeling guys? Let me know if you have any questions while you have me. <laughs> Good job, Mira. How was that? Hopefully it was, um, it was helpful with a few of the slow... Uh, explanations. It's good to just recap on all those um, as much as you can really because we all need it, <laughs> myself included. I'm not uh, any different. Um, good, Jess is still here I think. So, oh good, Mira. Okay, awesome. Corrected one more posture. Ah, oh, good, good. I'd love to tired, Kelly. Yes, I'm sorry, it was tough. Me too, I'm tired. Um, was there, uh, yeah, what, what did you notice actually, Mira? That would be great to know what you corrected today. 
it's always nice to know, you know, what little aha moments you guys have. Um, and you know what, it's, the body's always different as well. So if something feels good today, it may not feel the same tomorrow. You know, our body's always changing because we're always doing different things. You know, we're sitting on the couch more. Oh good, glad you liked it, Jess. Or we're, you know, exercising more or we're exercising less like our bodies never the same so always you know be kind to yourself and just honor where your body's at on any particular day couldn't lift the leg opposite hand without wobbling oh yeah i know <laughs> don't worry that one's tough and do you know what that exercise shame in hopefully i'm pronouncing your name right <laughs> um that exercise is one of the best exercises to actually do for everyone. Um, it's a powerful exercise. It works the core. It works. Um, it works. So I'm reading your messages as I'm talking to you. So I'm trying not to miss any. Uh, it works the back muscles um, and it works the deep stabilizing muscles. So um, often what happens um, in normal exercise, we actually don't work. Um, the little deep stabilizing muscles. So in Pilates, that's what we're focusing a lot on, and that's how you build deep strength as well. So that one's a great one, a good go-to exercise, that opposite arm and leg one. Yeah, great. Um, Kelly, really feeling, oh good, good, you're feeling it where you should, that's fantastic, really good. Um, and yeah, that's the key. So you ideally are, um, not feeling neck pain, not feeling lower back pain. Now there's a difference in learning how to differentiate between lower back pain and lower back work and strength. And you'll start to get to know that as you progress. Um, you do want to strengthen the lower back, but often what happens is everyone is um, different, obviously, firstly, but often people uh, will work upper back more than lower back or vice versa. More so lower back more than upper. So often the lower back will kick in and overwork if the upper back is not flexible. So it's good at the beginning to know when you're uh, overworking the lower back and so to kind of, like I said, press the hips into the mat sometimes. So these are all little things that you'll learn as you go um, and, and you'll learn about your body. So the more you become mobile in different areas and flexible, the more you'll use the right muscles as well. But uh, how to go all levels? Good, Kelly. Yeah, side lifts are very hard. They're good too. We often neglect the obliques. Um, yeah, that, that they're very good for us to do. Uh, oh, okay. Those breeches and ties in the back. Oh, yeah, yeah, Mira, I know the ones. Um, Danny, uh, I got those clothes. Sorry, Mira's asking where did I get my sportswear. The breeches with the ties at the back of the cars. I think the blue ones in some of my videos. Is that what you were meaning? Uh, they were from my friend Danny's shop a couple of years ago. And I don't know the brand, but I'll check it out for you. Uh, this stuff I've got on today is Lululemon. I used to be an ambassador for Lululemon. So I have a lot of their clothes and uh, they got me... Uh, free ones at the beginning, but then after wearing them, I love them, so I'm kind of hooked and I still buy some sometimes. Yeah, they're very comfy. Yeah, the blue and the purple, I know. Yeah, I'll dig out the label. They are quite old, but um, you never know, maybe um, still around. And I'll, I'll give you Danny's uh, details as well. Awesome. I just want to make sure I haven't missed anyone's questions, so I'm checking now it's lovely to um be live with you all <laughs> um yeah i can't quite see all the comments now but i'll just do a little scroll make sure i've gotten to everyone and if you're complete i'm just shaming i'm just hopefully i'm pronouncing your name wrong sorry if i'm not um if you are a complete beginner then Please just honor that, you know, don't rush into taking levels that you don't need. Um, you know, I've been doing this for teaching 15 years, but uh, doing it for, I don't know, six more years before that. Um, 
you know, what I do is definitely um, not beginner anymore in some options. You know, I give options to people who uh, have been doing it for a while. And, you know, even I find some of the exercises hard and challenging. You know, if I'm not keeping up regular Pilates, then I um, tend to lose strength as well. So, like I said, honor where your body's at, and that goes for all of us. Oh, Shanola is here, I think. I've just seen, I'm just scrolling back through the messages. Hello, hopefully you're still here, Shanola. Um, so, yeah, I think we'll do a few more of these live ones because um, it's nice to have you all uh, here with me. And uh, if you have any more questions, you can still ask me now, I'm still staying around, but um, you can also ask me in the comments below after the video if you think of something. Um, this actual video will be uh, available for you to do here in the Facebook group, but also I'll put it in the Corfit Club um, as well, so you've got an option to, to take it up. Um, <clears throat> oh good, <laughs> show me in. Okay, great. Yeah, my pleasure. Any time. Um, glad I pronounced it right. <laughs> so I'll, I'll have a little section in the Corfit Club where we'll put all of the live videos. So sometimes I don't plan my classes. Uh, this one I didn't plan. I knew I wanted to tell you about the core work and a few other things, but sometimes I just create as I go. Sometimes I plan, uh, depending on what I'm doing. So um, they're always a little bit different. And um, yeah, always um, giving you some, some different new advice as much as I can as well. So yeah, like I said at the beginning, if any of you have friends you know who want to join the Corfit Club, now's a good time. I just have a special for the month of March. They can join for $1. Um, it's just because I want everyone to move more in March. This is an annual uh, program I'm doing or movement I'm trying to create. Um, because I know we all start strong in January and like we all did in the 14 day challenge and sometimes we can lose momentum February, March. So I think it's a good time to revamp and um, reassess where we're at. So uh, if you have any suggestions of classes that you want me to do, any questions, any tips, please um, always let me know, share in the Facebook group and uh, lovely to have you all with me today. Uh, I will get going and if you have any more questions, pop them in the comments. Thanks everyone. Lovely to chat. Have a great day. Bye-bye.